So I want to try out something new for the channel and compile all of the latest Splatoon news that we've gotten in the past week or so. I'm planning to compile all of the small pieces of news that I didn't really want to make a whole video about, but will work much better when compiled together in one single video for easy access and viewing. So let's check out all the small and interesting pieces of Splatoon news that we've gotten this week. Late last month, Nintendo confirmed some new information about the Nintendo Live 2024 Tokyo show, which will involve a Splatoon 3 Deep Cut concert. Now, the actual show was cancelled, however, they will still be showing the Splatoon 3 Deep Cut concert, which is great news, and it'll be posted on the YouTube channel on February the 10th. So not long at all as of me posting this video, it's the 7th that I'm posting this, and so you'll only have to wait a few days until you can actually watch it. It should appear on all the different YouTube channels I imagine, especially as this tweet is coming from Splatoon North America, so you won't have to search too hard to find it. As long as you're subscribed to the different Nintendo YouTube channels, then you'll be able to find it quite easily. I'm definitely really looking forward to this concert, I believe it will have some new material which is great to hear, it won't just be the same one that we got a few years ago, it will have some new songs and such, as there have actually been quite a few new songs added to the game since we got the last concert, so it's definitely going to be a fun one to see. I think it would have been really cool if they could have added in some sort of in-game consolation for having this concert. Maybe like a special banner or something? I'm not sure if they actually were planning on releasing a unique banner for Nintendo Live 2024 at Tokyo. That would have made a lot of sense and I feel like I did see something like that. So who knows, potentially they may even still do something like that upon the release of the concert. We'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, for now, just keep an eye out on Nintendo's YouTube channel on February the 10th so you can watch the Deep Cut concert and check out some of the new songs that they'll be performing. Just yesterday, Nintendo has confirmed some new championships will be taking place as well, and they shared information about it in this tweet. The Splatoon 3 World Championship 2024 will be taking place on April 13th and 14th in Japan time. It will be live streamed, but this time there won't be a live audience, which is most likely connected to the fact that they also had to cancel Nintendo Live 2024 too. The championships are always a fun and interesting time in my opinion. Nintendo usually does like to add a new banner in-game as well, so don't worry, there are some in-game rewards that you can get too, which I know a lot of you will be wanting since you won't be attending or watching the championships. But overall, I think this is a really fun event. Now, since it will be taking place in April, that does mean, of course, there will be new weapons and such and balance changes to contend with, as the fresh season update will be coming on March the 1st. So it'll be really interesting to see just how much the game has changed in that time, as the fresh season update could honestly be a fairly significant one. We're expecting some really big new changes. So I'm definitely curious how that's going to affect the championship and how players prepare for it. Either way, good luck to everyone who does participate in the championships. I'm looking forward to checking it out. And with the next update, we'll just have to see if Nintendo does decide to add in some sort of commemorative banner, like I do believe they would. Now, quickly, if you still haven't bought Splatoon 3, or you know someone who hasn't bought it yet, then you'll definitely want to head to Nintendo's Jumpstart sale, as there is only 19 hours before the sale on Splatoon 3's bundle with the game and expansion pass, and just the game on its own ends. Splatoon 3 itself is on sale at 30%, which is honestly a pretty decent deal. And then we also have the bundle which is on sale for 21%, which is a very odd number, but hey, it's a discount nonetheless, so if you haven't got the game yet somehow, which I don't know why you'd be watching this video, but who knows, maybe you just like to watch the videos and don't have the game, or like I said, you know someone, a friend or a family member who does not yet own the game, then definitely make sure you take advantage of the sale. There'll be even less time as I'm recording this video a few hours before I upload it, so yeah, definitely, if you're in the United States, make sure you check out the Jumpstart sale, because Nintendo very rarely puts their major games on sale this soon after they release. I was so shocked that Splatoon is already on sale, despite being, you know, not even that old at this point, really. Not old at all. Games like Animal Crossing New Horizons have been on sale, which is a little bit more expected since those games have been out for absolutely ages at this point. But Splatoon, I really wasn't expecting to see that. So yeah, you'll definitely want to make sure you take advantage of the sale before it's too late. And especially the expansion pass one with side order releasing so soon, you're going to want to make sure you don't miss out on that. It's a shame that the DLC itself isn't on sale. That would have been really great. Unfortunately, it is just the game plus the DLC. 
I think they knew not to put it on sale with Side Order coming out. Nintendo released their sales report a few days ago, and interestingly enough, it gives us a picture of how many units Splatoon 3 has sold in total at this current point, I believe. Oatmeal Dome shared that Splatoon 3 is now at 11.71 million units sold, which does seem pretty decent, but honestly, it isn't as high as people were expecting. I think this does have to do with the fact that we have two Splatoon games on the same console, and Splatoon 3 isn't that drastically different from Splatoon 2, at least to the more casual player. So yeah, it seems like the game has struggled to reach those really high numbers like some of the fellow games on Nintendo Switch have. For example, Mario Bros. Wonder hasn't been out for that long at all, but it's already at 11 million. And yeah, it does have the advantage of being a Mario game, so of course it's going to sell way more. But yeah, it does feel like the numbers for Splatoon 3 at this current point definitely aren't as high as we had hoped they would be. Of course, Side Order is out very soon though, so those numbers could increase a lot when we get our first proper DLC for the game. It is going to be a very significant addition, and maybe with the sale, a lot of people might have bought it to play it for the first time. So we'll just have to wait and see. I'm certainly hoping that Splatoon does get even more sales, because I'd love to see more players joining us. But yeah, it's definitely not as much as we had been hoping for. Now for some in-game news, Nintendo has very recently confirmed the results of the most recent extra work which happened. The results are as followed. For bronze, top 50%, it's 133 and up. For the top 20%, it's 172 and up. And then for the top 5, it's 218 and up. Now I personally didn't take part in this extra work myself. I, I'm not that good at Salmon Run, I'm just not. I know I wouldn't have gone a very high score. But for anyone who did, I wish you the best of luck to get the rewards that you wanted. I hope you managed to get them. Good job, everyone. I'd be very interested in seeing how many people participated in this particular event, as it feels like at the moment, interest in sort of Extra Run, and even Salmon Run in general, is at an all-time low. So I'd be very curious. Hopefully when we get a big run in March, we'll get a lot of excitement and hype around that. That would be great. But for now, there are the results for the most recent extra work. I hope you managed to get the prize that you were hoping for. So yeah, that's all of the latest Splatoon news that we've gotten this week or so. I hope you found it interesting. I thought I'd do something a little bit different here, and I might keep it up if we get even more little small pieces of Splatoon news that don't constitute their own video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on channel notifications for more Splatoon videos and news.